fill the streets with tears, force you to wade through all our fears. We're crying, crying out. We fill the hall with voices. We won't stop rejoicing till you hear us calling of heart need not apply if it looks like truth in your mind's eye then speak it speak it aloud brother we must resist sister we must persist this is no easy road we're going down shoulders sore from fists held high boots on the ground but our spirits fly It's so easy to fear one heart at a time. We can spread the love from your eyes to mine. Shoulders sore from fist held high. Hi everyone and welcome to episode six of Arts on the Hill. I'm Jim Ryan. Unfortunately, Phoebe is taking one more week off, but she'll be back with me next week. So we're into May, the year uh, 2020, I think. Really hope everyone is well and hanging in there. You just heard a beautiful song from UVA alum, Aaron Lunsford, about love, which is what seems to keep us all going these days and ever present in the work of these performers. I hope you enjoy this episode, which promises love, some laughter, poetry, some presidents, and as you might have guessed, a euphonium or four. Enjoy and be well. Hello, my name is Mike Idzior, and I'm one of the band directors here at the university. I hope everyone is doing as well as can be out there and students, I hope your end of semester work and finals preparation is going well. I thought I'd share a little bit of music with you today, so I put together a recording of an arrangement for a tuba and euphonium quartet. I don't have any tubas laying around, so I chose to play all four parts on euphonium. So here is Mozart's Marriage of Figaro on four euphoniums. Enjoy, and go who's. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Mozart, and thank you, Mikes. I think my favorite mic was the upper right-hand corner mic, even though all the mics, in my opinion, were quite wonderful on that euphonium. Well done and love the band. Our next performance is by fourth-year music major and Curry student Caitlin Catterton, who is performing a song from the musical Waitress called She Used to Be Mine. And for those cat spotting or dog watching on this show, look no further than the next segment. Yes, folks, you'll be seeing the Catterton cat.
numb to the free time I can't wait no more The fingers through my pants on my mind I know it's been a minute since you walked right through that door But I still think about you all the time Watch the shows you showed me, I still drink that wine. Easy to taste, it's more better than sweet. And all my friends are way too drunk to save me from my phone. So sorry if I say some things I mean. I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna make it. Thank you, Hullable Hoods. Certainly feeling a lot less lonely right now with you in our digital lives. Good job and wonderful, as always. Our next piece is pretty much both poetry and comedy. It's UV alum Ron Suskind, who shares a relevant poem from Charles Bukowski called The Laughing Heart, delivering it in what he calls common voices, voices we all know and share, the voices of our U.S. presidents, which he can do, as you will see, quite well. Next stop, SNL for you, Ron Suskind. So here you go. Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Uh, be on the watch. The gods will offer you Choices. What, what, I got that wrong. Chances. I got that wrong. Offer you chances. Know them. Take them. You can't be death, but you can be death in life sometimes. And the more often you learn to do it, the more light there will be. And now my personal favorite. Your life is your life. Know it while you have it. You are marvelous. The gods wait to delight in you. Hi, I'm Bill Antholis from the Miller Center. And I'm Melody Barnes, professor of practice at the Miller Center and co-director of the Democracy Initiative. We study the presidency at the Miller Center as well as American history and politics. And we have a poem we want to read that uh, came from Miller Williams, the poet laureate, 
who read this poem at Bill Clinton's second inaugural in 1997. It's called Of History and Hope. We have memorized America, how it was born, and who we have been and where. In ceremonies and silence, we say the words, telling the stories, singing the old songs. We like the places they take us, mostly we do. The great and all the anonymous dead are there. We know the sound of all the sounds we brought. The rich taste of it is on our tongues. But where are we going to be and why and who? The disenfranchised dead want to know. We mean to be the people we meant to be, to keep on going where we meant to go. But how do we fashion the future? Who can say how, except in the minds of those who will call it now? The children, the children, and how does our garden grow? With waving hands, oh, rarely in a row, and flowering faces, and brambles that we can no longer allow. Who were many people coming together cannot become one people falling apart. Who dreamed for every child and even chance cannot let luck alone turn doorknobs or not. Whose law was never so much of the hand as the head cannot let chaos make its way to the heart. Who have seen learning struggle from teacher to child cannot let ignorance spread itself like rot. We know what we have done and what we have said and how we have grown degree by slow degree, believing ourselves toward all we have tried to become, just and compassionate, equal, able, and free. All this in the hands of children, eyes already set on a land we never can visit. It isn't there yet. But looking through their eyes, we can see what our long gift to them may come to be. If we can truly remember, they will not forget. Thank you, Bill and Melody and all of our friends at the Miller Center. I think that was absolutely great. Uh, if the loose theme of today's show is love, I think we're in for a treat as our final act. Uh, Chief of Pediatric Surgery Gene McGarren wanted to surprise his wife, Catherine, on this today, their wedding anniversary. Gene is a talented musician who put this song together as a surprise to Catherine, who I think is watching right now. So happy anniversary, Catherine, and enjoy Gene McGarren. Hi, my name is Gene McGarren. I work at the UVA Children's Hospital. And a little over 20 years ago, when my wife and I were expecting our first baby, we called it Little One because we didn't know if it was gonna be a boy or a girl. And I wrote this song at the time, My Love and My Little One. But now this song goes out to my love, Catherine, happy anniversary, and to our four big ones, Christopher and Caroline, who are both UVA undergrads, go who's, and Matthew and Annie, who are our high schoolers, go warriors. And to any of you who might have your own little ones growing into big ones all too soon. She came to me with a knowing smile Said you and me being alone for a while But honey, change is gonna happen real soon Cause you, George Bailey, a glass of the moon Well, I looked at her, and she looked at me With wonder how her love could make us three And I would be happy, it's plain to see You look a lot like her, and just a little like me Now story tell times and nursery rhymes Are all a little strange to me But your mother's love's gonna help us make it through See your daughter will glow or the sun will shine Either way I'm glad that you're hers and mine From the sun's first rays till the day is done I love my love and my little one Now 
Once your mom and I, we were sitting by a tree. K I S S I N G. We fell in love and then came marriage. And now we're looking for your job. We carry. And I was just thinking what joy you'll be when you spend half the night waking mommy and me. But a coo and a smile, and you know I'll be just wrapped around your finger when you wink at me. Now you laugh and you cry and you toddle and you fall, but your mama and I will love you through it all. Cause we both know you'll be growing all too soon. You see, your daughter will glow or the sun will shine. Sun's first rays till the day is done. I love my love and my Then when it's time to share your life with another, the greatest gift you give your dad and your mother is passing on all the love we gave to you. And then your daughter will glow or your son will shine. Just remember when you were hurt. From the sun's first rays till the day is done Just love your love and your little ones Hope you liked it. That's it. Week six of the show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you'd like to submit UVA arts at Virginia.edu. It was a bit of a longer episode, but I would argue that this whole thing right now, life feels like kind of a longer episode. So maybe appropriate. If you've made it to the end of this episode, uh, you're of course going to be treated to cute kids playing music. This is the nephew of a UVA doctoral student who is going to play an avant-garde, very sullen performance on the mandolin. This closing out episode six of Arts on the Hill. Be well, and I hope one day I get to meet y'all in person. Digital's cool, but I'm a hugger. Mm.